You uh, started our conference off with a, a fine presentation where you've challenged us to think about and value water in, in new ways. And you talked about a, a social interest approach to the water. Can you expand on that for us? Yeah, I think we're now reaching a stage where a lot of people realise that water is more important than just what goes through their taps and into their toilets and generally used by both commercial and domestic side. It is actually part of a good life and the betterment of the whole of the community they're in and the betterment of the landscape and all the ecology of the landscape. So we're increasingly seeing the willingness for people to change their water using habits in order to provide more water for others and more water for the future if they can get the right kind of incentive and the right kinds of information. Right now people are not given information about how much water they're using. They see their water bill if it's a, a meter without realizing how they could save it if they cut certain things back and there's no incentive right now for them either to save water and be given some recognition for that by some return of income or even a, what I call a feed-in tariff, a better bit of money because you've saved the water company money for supplying future water if you save it now. But also we don't design our houses so we can capture water and use that water inside the house offsetting the pipe water which is basically drinkable but only a very little bit. We actually drink. We use it all for other purposes in the house but we don't need that quality of water with these expensive treatment and pumping. So it's a change in the way we're seeing water which is beginning to start to happen and we need to capture that spirit. Yeah. And you talked about the, the role of A and Bs in this landscapes for life using well, I think approach. the OMB has one of the big qualities of the OMB is there is a culture of the landscape in the OMB. The OMB has created a notion that everybody who lives within it is proud of the fact that they're in a special landscape. And unlike the National Park, it's a landscape which is often highly developed with large amounts of different kinds of use, with urban and agriculture and recreation and conservation all mixed up. But giving people a sense that the totality of the landscape is special, it's theirs, and it has their, what I call, their culture of identity. Now if we could use that as a way of conserving water and redistributing water and to me the AOMB complex would be a wonderful platform or pilot area for this type of thing. It would allow us to test these ideas out and make them work. We need pilot landscapes for water and for life and the AOMB finds me is the right kind of setting, the culture and the identity that would allow this at least to start. So why don't we go, go with the family of AMBs trying this out. Thanks Tim, thanks for coming along and getting us off to a great start. Okay.